Welcome guys to the King's Wheel Opening Day. <laughs> it's snowing <laughs> and it's 35 degrees out. <laughs> and Timbili's minimum operating temperature is 34, so we might be able to get on it. I hate you. I know. <laughs> it's brand new this year's Jungle Expedition. We're gonna go check it out. I'm personally not anticipating any rides being open today. It, the, We're gonna be it the first is... to flip. <laughs> I mean, I, we're just gonna, gonna go walk around the area, check everything out, uh, and then try not to get frostbite. And then come back another weekend when it's a lot warmer. <laughs> hey, hey, what's your name? Mark. Mark, why are you wearing shorts? It's a year round thing, doesn't matter what it is. Okay. Ah, uh, you're one of those. Oh. We're doing a little media preview before the park opens for the day, heading straight to the former Safari Village section. Well, this is a new site. Welcome to Jungle Expedition. You can see Tomb Beely directly ahead. Check this out. We got some work equipment here off to the side and a little exhibition map of the area. It'll be cool once they put in the volcano replacement to see how this will change. They even have a little Mount Kilimanjaro. That's a reference to a past attraction here at King's Dominion. Looks like the restroom's got a bit of a refresh and all new pavers in place. This used to be pavement and it looks a lot better now. Out here on the side of the restrooms we have a bunch of new posters. Look at this awesome artwork. Everything here is a reference to past attractions. So that's a referencing the original mountain that was here in this area. This would be a reference to the Land of Dews. Diamond Falls, there used to be a boat ride here at Kings Dominion that that's referring to. Over here, we have another detailed map of Jungle Expedition. Looks great. Here's the one for Tumbili. Oh, I like this. Yeah, right? like there's a monkey and they're like riding on like some bamboo. Now that's some theming I would like. I, I know, yeah. Where can we get real monkeys surrounding Tumbili? <laughs> Here's Arachnidia. Take a spin. Ooh. Yeah, this is great. And then Reptilian. Bring through the ravines. Yeah, this all looks really great. I really like that. Adder Hanks is now Outpost Cafe. I don't think it's actually going to be open for us to go try out some of the new food today. So there's one strip of pavement right here. This is actually to go with the theme of the area, to act as kind of like a landing strip. Like this is a remote area that they're having to fly planes into. Although, no planes today, but someone is driving their car through the park. This right here used to be Hungry Hippo, it is now Jungle Market Eatery. As you walk in, there's all this theming up top. That's brand new, but everything else here looks pretty similar. Look at all of the food they brought out for us this morning. Oh my gosh. So this right here is the chorizo queso burger. You can see all the queso. And it is very good. I definitely enjoyed it. Good. Wow, would you look at that. They're sending the test train. And it's got music as it goes up the lift. That's pretty cool. What the monkeys? <laughs> Oh, kind of sad the music doesn't continue as it goes through the layout. Oh, the sound effects. Sarah's doing the don't valley dance. As the they do valley the dance. The do valley dance as they keep sending test trains over here. Every time it goes through some of these hills, I'm like, oh my gosh, it is moving so slow. I mean, I'm sure once riders are on it, it'll be fine, but how funny would that be? We valleyed Tumbili on opening day. I like it. In the animation, it showed a big Tumbili sign like right here. There's not currently one. There's not even a Tumbili sign right here over the entrance. So it makes me wonder if they're gonna add one in the future, hopefully. I appreciate some of the detail underneath the path right here. I wonder if this is uh, for extended queue right here. Here is the craziest thing right there. That is the former Avalanche roller coaster and it is now orange. Wow. That's a look, you still haven't ridden it yet, have you? No, wow. I've actually never seen this. Oh yeah, you've never been in this area of the park. No. What do ever. you think? I like it. I, I, I'm really sad looking at this though. Oh my gosh, is it? Yeah, big volcano used to be right there. It's really sad because like I, I lived in a, like the DC area for a while and people were always like, we gotta go to Kings Dominion sometime and I never had time because I was in college and like 
traveling elsewhere and it's like you gotta ride volcano i'm like i'll get around to it it's not going anywhere oh uh, things that didn't age well part one all right they're sending the first riders and it's worth mentioning that there are some poles right here for where this part of the queue will be covered uh another thing that they're probably going to add a little yeah. bit later but that'd be really nice right now here we go these are the first public riders on tumili and it's very windy Whoa! Dump on all those people. <laughs> well, that's a way to start your first ride, isn't it? They kept the water effects from Tomb Raider. Alright, we're up next. Unlike the larger free spins, Tumbili only loads one vehicle at a time, and actually they have loose article pins right here, and they're using the Intimidator 305 sign. <laughs> well, it just went down for weather. They kicked us out because it's below the minimum operating temperature. And it's just gonna keep getting colder. So I could have told them that they shouldn't have done that today. Is, <laughs> that is it. So we are going to Flight of Fear because it is the only thing open. I, I know. I, I feel like they should have just waited to open this a different day. Well, even tomorrow is supposed to be like, I think 10 degrees warmer and no snow. So, I don't know, it's just like, I admire them for trying, but. I just feel bad for all the people who are like, you know, TV or news media that came out here today. Like, we right. don't mind like being here because we're nerds. And we didn't have to come far to get here. Here's how you can spot all the nerds. Everyone's yeah, trying to see there, Volcano. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's land clearing going on. Yeah, I imagine like, it's still Volcano here. was wow. here last time I was here, but like, I don't know, I'm looking for it and I can't find it. Ah, oh. Ryan, how far did you have to drive to come here to not ride a free spin? Probably like five and a half hours. All right. Great. Yeah, totally worth it. <laughs> Wow, so you can actually yeah, see through the fence. <laughs> yeah, there's that view of the avalanche they were talking about, but yeah. Look at all this. Wow. The Scrambler got rethemed, it is now called Arachnidia. That's a great looking sign. Seems like everyone else had the same idea. Flight of your takeover! I can't remember what this button does, so do you know? The only time I've ever been to a amusement park in the snow besides this was Dollywood. We rode Tessie Tornado in the snow. It's snowing really hard and we're in Dollywood. What are we doing here? This here is the new gift shop at King's Dominion Explorers Supplies. Well, and it's new. It's, it's basically redone. It was an old gift shop, not really popular, and so they're redoing it. Here's some of the merchandise that you'll find. Jungle Expedition, lots of Tumbili stuff. Why do I literally like this? I know, it looks great. I'm not going to get it. I can't. You can't buy free spin I think stuff. I would get stripped of my enthusiast card if I was walking around wearing a free spin sweater. <laughs> it does look good though. Look at it. <laughs> so we got some hats, Jungle Expedition. Look at that free spin mug. It's kind of fun. This here is the operator booth for Tumbili. I love this look. Kingsman planted a bunch of palm trees to surround Tumbili, except it's literally snowing. These things are gonna die in like they're the first day. <laughs> <laughs> they look great, but they're probably like, what is this weather? <laughs> I say, as a crypt replacement, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's very impressive that this fit in this spot. <laughs> what? I'll say Home Depot on something. What? <laughs> Home Depot? <laughs> Oh, they are so not done with this yet. They even painted this ride for Home Depot, look! Oh, dude! Update, they're closing the park at 1, so we got 30 minutes. I'm okay with that. So, yeah, that's totally fine. This ride is popping. Alright, I got 990. What'd you get? I got 989. Oh, beat her by one point. Alright, Ryan, what'd you get? 10 million. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no cheat codes or anything. No, nothing. All right. 10 million and one. 10 million and one? Man. Our scores were so high, it broke the screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was certainly not the day we wanted to happen at King's Dominion, but you know. It's the day we had. <laughs> you, you gotta roll with the punches. I had fun anyway. Yeah, you know, we got a couple rides in on Flight of Fear. We got a free meal out of it and got to hang out with some friends. But we didn't want to leave you guys without a review of Tumbili. So we're gonna come back tomorrow and actually get on the attraction. Oh so, we'll see you then. Welcome to day two. It's 38 degrees out, which is five degrees warmer than yesterday. Minor improvement. <laughs> yeah, uh, still absolutely freezing, but we should get a few more attractions open today. We actually heard them uh, doing some test cycles for Dominator earlier. The, it's supposed to gain another 10 degrees, so uh, yeah, definitely hopeful. From what we've heard, Tumbili has already started testing for the day, so we're gonna head over there and hopefully get on it.
All right, there's Tim Beely, and I borrowed this wig from this guy. <laughs> How's Tim Beely? Amazing, yeah, it's the best coach you guys have here. Wow. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Can't wait. All right. No, it's just, it's just a free spin, yeah. It's just, Someone it's take credit. this. Hey, right, here's where the line ends. It's gonna be a longer wait than yesterday when well, we were next in line. <laughs> we were next in line. <laughs> I think anything is a downgrade from that. Yeah, I mean, if we had gotten here earlier, we could have, but uh, I didn't want to wait two hours for this, like Ryan. <laughs> Change of plans. Looks like they're about to open up Reptilian. And so everyone out here is waiting for it to open. So we decide that we do this first and then hop on Toon Beely. A new credit, Sarah. Woohoo! I like the sign a lot. The sign looks great. It's very reminiscent of like Ruguru with the eyes. Uh, oh, yeah. over the eyes. The eyes over the eyes. The eyes over the Yes. I <laughs> nice. I uh I like the color. I think it's cool, like it's bright. Box, it's bright. I'm not like the biggest orange fan, but it's not like blaring bright orange, so I'm cool with it's it. It's nice to see Bob said it's not white. <laughs> well, that, I was going to say that it, it's not themed like Olympic. You know what I mean? Like, Well, I that's like, what it used to be themed No, though. I know, and that's I think it's cool that they're trying to put a different spin on them, because most bobsleds are themed. Two oh, we have down here, so straight, hold on, slide, and enjoy your ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Reptilian done. Sarah, what do you think? That is way better than any other like bobsled ride I've done. Yeah. That was actually fun, even though you said it was like going really slow. Yeah, it was. It was definitely crawling. Yeah, that was really comfortable too. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot better oh than God, the other ones. Yeah, hey, they actually kept this cave. This was part of the Volcano Mountain, and when they removed it, they kept this part. Yeah, when we were going up the lift, so you could see like Oh, where the volcano was, yeah. and it was just like a pile of rubble, and I was like, I feel like that's the equivalent of you seeing like a pile of dead bodies. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very sad. It's like, oh gosh. Yeah, <laughs> not not great, but you know, uh, even though it was running slow, that's a great family coaster. Um, it looks fantastic. The colors, I mean, it's a lot more orange in person, but I think that's fine. The thing was that white just looks so bad because of how worn it was. Anything white like that can get really dirty. That's yes. The problem. So the orange, that thing's gonna look great for years to come. So Sarah pointed out something that I didn't notice. They have audio playing like from a jungle. Like you hear crickets, you hear soft music. Such Pandora. All right, it's finally happening. Awkward. And actually we're on the other side of Tumbili. We're gonna make our first ride on the left side. It looked straight ahead. This is something you don't get with the other side. Some very elaborate theming directly ahead. That's pretty cool. I love the beating of the drums and the music when you just bet. That's great. Well, that was our first ride on Tumbili. And you know, I liked it more than I was expecting. I really it was do not. <laughs> I really do not. Do, oh, this is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. Look at this. Yeah, this is cool. I don't like free spins, like, to the point that I've literally only ridden one ever because I don't, I refuse to ride any more of them. I did not mind that at all. Oh, compared yeah. to the larger scale models, like the only other one I've ridden was uh, the one at Fiesta. The one at Fiesta, Texas, yeah, yeah, the original. And I did not enjoy it. It was too much flipping. I felt it's too by much. The end. This is a shorter ride. Yes. It packs in like a couple flips. You know, like, we got like really two short. or three. But they're very like fun. Yeah, like, it wasn't. I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up. No, <laughs> it wasn't too much at all. Yeah. So like the fact that it's a short ride, which it definitely is Like short. we're talking once you get to the top of the lift, so like maybe 25, 30 seconds. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> that might be being generous. Yeah. But if it's any longer like the other ones, I have no interest in riding it. So I would honestly rather do the short one, have less of a ride and actually enjoy it. Right well, we've made it out of Jungle Expedition. Well, not really. Technically, uh, we're still here. Yeah, the, the theming really stops uh, once you start walking towards Flight of Fear and Intimidator 3 or 5. But technically, this is part of the area. It, it does not resemble a jungle expedition 
Uh, unless you say that there are aliens and Dale Earnhardt in yeah, the jungle. Yeah, literally, I was about to say that. I'm like, aliens and Dale Earnhardt really, really should and, be And a movie backlot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so we're going to go ahead and ride the star attraction here in Jungle Expedition. <laughs> I-305. Boom. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, it's actually open, but I'm excited about it. It's going to be absolutely freezing. So we'll go ahead and round out this video. Um, overall, what are your thoughts? Uh, and everything um, that's new this year. I really like that area. Like they said, it's definitely not done. But yes. I understand the, you know, sentiment of wanting to open it even if it's not finished rather than not opening it at all. Absolutely. Um, and from what we gather, they really pulled a lot of it out in like the oh last couple gosh. of days. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's, it's a miracle that yeah. all this got done. It's really awesome though. But yeah, I really love like that more parks are starting to like pay attention more to like the five senses. Yeah. Where it's not just a, a visual thing, like they have like sounds that are more like jungle-esque like we were talking about. Yeah, like, they, very, they like, revamp food. Disney. So, I mean, it's it's a full package yeah. here. Like it's not just Tumbili and Kings Bay is really pushing that this year. It's, it's like, come visit Jungle Expedition. You know, we have a new roller coaster as a part of it. Uh, there's gonna be a show coming later this year. Yeah. And uh, the roller coaster is well themed on like some is. other parks in this area. It, I'm not gonna name any of those. No, we know, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I think they did a good job again and they're still gonna be adding more to it. So. Uh, I think it's I think it's great. I'm I'm excited I'm, to see where it goes from here. Yes, definitely. We'll we'll be back uh, later this year, and we'll do a video kind of showing some of the updates around Jungle Expedition. You know, especially I know there's gonna be a big sign like over Tumbili. That's one of the things yeah, that was missing. Yeah, it looks like naked right now. The ride. A little bit. It still looks good, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I I think it'll be cool to see how everything comes together. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.